my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Firehouse Chef. I'm as always your host, Ryan McKay. And for today's episode, we're gearing up for the big day, the 25th of December. Hopefully you've heard about it. Yes, everyone, that's the Christmas day that we're prepping for. Uh, hopefully in the morning you're wrapping yourselves around the Christmas tree, opening up some presents, perhaps sipping on some hot chocolate. But, uh, you know, I'm sure the last thing on your mind is what you're going to be eating for breakfast. For me, on the contrary, it's the only thing I'm thinking about. So I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite classic breakfast recipes, and that is French toast. All right, so you're asking yourself, why French toast? Of all the breakfasts that you can make for Christmas morning, why is it French toast? Well, I, for number one, am a sucker for good fresh bread, but uh, one of the great fail-safes here with French toast, it can be fresh bread or it can be even stale. In fact, some people prefer the stale because it has a little bit more structure and it can withstand the cooking temperatures we're throwing at a little bit better before it turns into mush. Now, when you're picking your style of bread, in a lot of, traditionally people like to go the sweet route, and that's with the, like, the brioches and the challah breads. I like to go the other way and use um, the French style, the ciabatta styles, or my favorite, and that would be sourdough. Now, I love sourdough because it has a little bit more of a tang. It kind of stands up better to the cream and the sugar and the spices that we're going to be putting in here. So uh, get yourself a loaf as well because we're going to be treating this very much like you would a very, you know, like a ribeye steak. And the same cooking technique almost. You know, nice sear and then finishing it off in the oven to make sure the inside's nice and cooked. It's also cheaper because it's not pre-sliced. So go ahead and get yourselves a good loaf of bread and let's make some French toast. All right, everybody, quick side note about soaking time. I mean, there's a lot of recipes out there that promote soaking for a long time, even so much as to do it overnight. And if you can do that, fantastic. But this is real world here, a firehouse style. 15 to 20 minutes is just sufficient. It's good enough. Um, just make sure you kind of flip and the bread over, make sure you get soaked all the way through, and you know, just go ahead and roll with it. But if you have the opportunity and you're at home, this is for family, do yourselves a favor, do all the prep work the night before and let them soak overnight. That way in the morning you're ready to roll Christmas style. So uh, side note over. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a nice Christmas breakfast French toast style. 
Hopefully you enjoy this recipe. If anything you got from it, you saw that it is inexpensive, very easy to replicate. And you can see where I'm kind of drawing the parallels to cooking a steak because you have the nice caramelized tops because you seared it with the sugar. And then of course right in the middle you have the custardy, very creamy texture in the middle. I mean kind of like a very good, well-cooked steak. See where I'm drawing the parallels here? But I hope you're enjoying this. You know, throw together some scrambled eggs with some chives, maybe some bacon with some brown sugar. You can even like make a fruit compote like I did in the last couple of episodes. And you've got yourself a very luxurious, decadent breakfast that'll be the talk of the morning after presents, of course. Speaking of presents, thank you again for supporting and watching this show. I hope very, very much that you and your family have a very Merry Christmas and you get everything that's coming your way. So until next time, we're looking forward to the next year. Keep yourselves safe and stay hungry, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.